In this video, we'll show you how to tune and optimize your Aruba Instant On wireless network. The real-life case study is a creative space rental business called Allied Media that recently installed a single AP11D access point. The initial setup was quick and painless, but users have been complaining about poor network performance at certain times, especially when streaming high-definition videos. During the initial setup, Allied Media and Allied Media Guest Networks were set up in both the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands, which is the default setting. 2.4 GB typically offers a stronger signal, so devices prefer to connect on this band, but 2.4 GB is almost always congested due to only having three non-overlapping channels available. When investigating the complaints from Allied Media users, we found that this was indeed the case. We analyzed the environment using a wireless scanner and found that the wireless signal was very strong, but that the 2.4 GB band was congested and had very high utilization by surrounding wireless networks. We could also see that the 5 gig band was nice and clear, almost no utilization at all across the 22 available channels. Let's do some testing. First, we will test the main studio area. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi network, confirm which band we are connecting to. In this case, it's channel 36 in the 5 gig band. Our signal strength and data rates are looking really good. Let's do a speed test. And that is looking really healthy too. Now let's try the same test in the same location, but this time connecting to the 2.4 gig band. Again, our signal strength and data rates are also looking good as expected, with us being so close to the AP. The speed test is looking okay, most likely because the neighboring networks were not under a heavy load at the time of this test. Now, we will perform the same set of tests, but in the meeting area at the far end of the office. We're connected on channel 1 in the 2.4 gig band. Our signal strength and data rates are looking good, but our speed test is not looking too healthy. Let's change to the 5 gig band. Our signal strength is really weak, barely showing one bar, but as we do the speed test, we are getting much better results than from the 2.4 gig band. The reason for this is that there's a lot more congestion and airtime utilization in the 2.4 as opposed to the 5 gig band. Now we'll take you through the solution for scenarios like this, being to firstly, create separate SSIDs per band, for example, Allied Media for 2.4 gig and Allied Media 5G for 5 gig. This prevents devices from automatically cross-band roaming, which occurs when the same SSID is broadcast on both bands. Then, it's up to users to select and only connect to the uncongested 5 gig SSID unless they have an old device which cannot see it. It's important to remind users even if the 5 gig signal might be relatively weaker, that it will likely provide much better performance when using bandwidth-hungry video streaming applications. We'll now show you how to create separate SSIDs per band. Start the Aruba Instant On app on your smartphone and log on to your site. Tap on the Networks tile, and then tap on the first wireless network, Allied Media in this case. Expand the More Options section, and tap on Wireless Options. We can see that this SSID is being offered on both 2.4 and 5 gig bands. We'll change this to 2.4 gig only, go back and click on Done. We'll repeat the process with Allied Media Guest SSID. Now we need to add two new SSIDs in 5 gig band only. Tap on the plus sign, change the network type to wireless, name the new network Allied Media 5G in this instance, and set the network password. Expand the More Options section and tap on Wireless Options. Select 5 gig only, go back and click on Done. Repeat the process for the guest network. Let's have a look at a few more settings that we can use to further optimize this network. Tap on the Devices tile and tap on the AP. Scroll down to the Radio section and tap on Radio Details. Let's have a look at the 2.4 gig radio management settings. We can see that we are using the default settings of 20 MHz channel width and channels 1, 6 and 11, all of which is best practice. We can also see that the transmit power has been set to maximum. In our scenario, where we have a single AP and we are trying to cover a large area, this is a good setting. But if you are deploying in a more dense environment with many APs in close proximity to one another, you may want to consider turning down your power settings. We will leave these settings at the default values and have a look at the 5 gig radio. 
I'm happy to keep the channel width settings at default, allowing the AP to choose the best fit, but in this real life use case scenario, I will remove the bottom two and the very last channel on the list, as based on our wireless scan earlier, the middle section of the spectrum is completely free and not used by any of the studio's neighbors, thus giving me the best possible performance. If you are deploying in a high density deployment with lots of APs, you may want to 1. Restrict your channel width, and 2. Tune down your transmit power to try and minimize the APs interfering with one another, which will likely offer you better performance in such circumstances. We can see that the AP is seeing that the 5 gig channel is 99% available and that the 2.4 gig channel is busy 25% of the time. This number is based on our and our neighbors' airtime utilization on these particular channels. The busier the channel, the lower the throughput for all wireless users, no matter which network they're on. From this, we can presume that the 5 gig network will perform better. Let's rerun our tests and benchmark the performance. We'll start in the main studio area, connecting to the Allied Media 5G network on channel 100 at a maximum data rate. Looking really good. Now, let's move to the meeting area at the far end of the office. You can see that the signal strength on the 5 gig is not that high. We are still connected, but our signal quality has dropped down to 43%. Even so, our speed test is still fairly fast, and that's because there are no other wireless networks on channel 100 competing for airtime. Let's connect to the Allied Media SSID on 2.4 gig radio. You can see that the signal strength received is much better when compared to 5 gig, and that's due to physics. The fact that a lower frequency signal is much better received at long distances and is better at penetrating objects. But when we run the speed test, we can see that it doesn't perform as well. In conclusion, by separating our wireless networks into 2.4 and 5 gig bands, we now have the ability to consistently connect our devices to a better performing radio and improve our network performance even in the far reaches of the studio where the signal strength is low. Want even more performance? Another way to further improve this deployment would be to add another AP at the other end of the office and that's exactly what we'll be covering in our next video. And there you have it. Please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thank you for watching.